Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. So I know that there are a lot of beginners out there that want to get straight into customization but still don't know the ropes and what to do exactly. So the screen of the day by PezZek, it's called Menu Card UI and it simply looks fantastic for that clean, minimal, elegant look. It's very, very easy to set up if you've got a Galaxy S3 and I've, for all those Nexus 4 users out there, I've set up a wallpaper just for you guys so you don't have to worry about that either. It's very easy to, to set up. It's got all your notifications that you use. It's got a beautiful, simple RSS reader to get to all your latest news headlines as well as quick jump to apps that you can quickly jump to like say your, your internet, your camera. And then finally, it tops it off with that beautiful looking clock at the top. What else do you want from a simple, minimal home screen? So let us begin with today's video tutorial. Okay, great. So starting off from your stock screen, I'll be using Nova Launcher, but you're welcome to use SS Launcher as well as Apex Launcher. Both are fantastic launchers for this. If you're not too sure about launchers and what they actually do, check out our Android Theming 101 playlist. It really helps you out. So to start off with this setup, we're going to be getting rid of any widgets that you have on your screen, just like that. And then to get into your nervous settings, it's quite easy to do. You're just going to hold down on the home screen and select the little wrench there. And that'll bring, if you select it, it'll bring up your nervous settings that you can see before you. So starting right off, we're going to jump into our desktop settings and then first into our desktop grid, getting that's going to be our columns and our rows. So our rows, I chose a 10 by 11 for my Nexus 4. But if you're using a Samsung Galaxy S3, which the screen is designed for, as well as a Note 2, I recommend going for a 10 by 9. So, but if you're using some other phone, you're welcome to change it around, see what works well for you. Now regarding width margin and height margin, for the width margin, I went for a large width. It just pushes everything in a bit, but as always, you can move that around. If you're using a Galaxy S3, I recommend putting that on none. But then in your height margin, I recommend putting that on a medium. Just gets that pushed down a bit. Next, you want to disable shadows. Home screens, you just want to select one home screen. So if it shows you the whole row, just get rid of this, drag them into the X. Just so you only want to have one home screen. You want to disable label icons. You don't want to have any ugly looking labels on that beautiful screen. And finally, you may, may or may not need this, but depending on what phone you have, if you've got a Galaxy S3, I don't think you'll need it. But for, but for my Nexus 4, it just helped me out. With widget overlap and overlap when placing, it just helps that when you're resizing your UCCW skins, which we'll be adding in later, it just helps you to get a bit of leeway and you can overlap them and nothing will bad will happen. So that is our desktop settings. Just go back now. And next we're going to be jumping into our dock settings. From here, we want to disable the dock. So if it's enabled, we want to disable it. We don't want to have that dock at the bottom. We do not need it. So that's our dock settings. We're just going to go back now for our look and feel. This is just gen general look and feel settings. We want to disable the notification bar at the top. That's that one that gives you all of your settings there. But do not worry. You can just slide down and it'll give you your settings. It's pretty easy to do. Or even enabling your gestures and buttons. Say for a double tap to show your notification bar just for a quick toggle. It looks really good. But you're going to need the prime version to get those gestures. And that is your Nova settings complete. Very easy to do. So we're just going to select back now. Everything should be minimal and everything should be cleared. So we're going to jump right into the background. Great. So for our wallpaper, it's very easy to do. We're just going to hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers. And as you can see, Nova Launcher, they've gone out of their way to create some amazing looking user interfaces for your wallpapers here. But we're not too worried about that. We're worried about that menu UI wallpaper that you need to copy onto your phone. If you're not too sure how to do that, check in the description below. Now for Galaxy S3, it might be applicable just to go into your gallery and to select the wallpaper and it'll set it up for you. But for some reason for my Nexus 4, when I did that, it kind of squished everything up into a little bunch and it didn't look really good and got quite irritating. So I recommend using the app called Wallpaper Wizardry. If you ever get in a pickle and you don't know what to do, Wallpaper Wizardry always gets your wallpaper to fit correctly. So all you have to do, it'll just open up any of your pictures. I just selected back here to get into all of your folders that contain images. And I went into Menu UI, that folder that you've copied onto your phone, hopefully. And there I've just selected the one, or the Nexus 4 one. As you can see, it's got the soft keys at the bottom. 
you don't have a Nexus 4, don't select the one with the soft keys at the bottom as, yeah, it's not going to look good at all. So next you, next you want to select set and then crop and then portrait. Remember this is only for Nexus 4, if you've got a Galaxy S3, the wallpaper should fit exactly, no worries. But for the Nexus 4, you're going to select no scroll, just do this whole process, it's going to say loading crop and you just want to get these handles out just so that they take up the top, not the bottom. See, as you can see, I've resized it. You want to take only the top. So you can see it's not selecting the soft keys. You're going to select set. It's going to set that wallpaper for you just like that. So as you can see, it is set up nice and beautifully for you, ready for those UCCW skins just like that. Great, so for the UCCW skins, you simply have to hold down on the home screen, select widgets. Hopefully you've downloaded and installed this amazing app. It's simply one of the best customization apps or widgets that you can have on your phone to this day. Now, it doesn't really matter what size you choose as long as you select a size. So I'm gonna go for a two by four, as you're always welcome to resize them at your will. Next, you're gonna be selecting the user button at the top here. If you have no idea how to use UCCW, I highly recommend checking out our complete guide where it's got the three part tutorial, really gets a good understanding of how to set up UCCW. Now you want to go into this file that you've or this folder that you've copied onto your phone and it'll provide you with three use zips that you need to import onto your phone. So using UCCW as, as always, you're going to select first one, we're going to go for apps, why not? It doesn't really matter. You'll select it and it'll import it onto your phone. Now you're going to select the hand and give it some time, maybe even move it around a bit, but just select it again and there it is like that. You want to hold down and say resize and then drag it to make it look amazing. So as you can see, it doesn't fit in too well, but don't worry about that. We're gonna to get to that later. Next, we're gonna hold down on the home screen, select widgets again, and you're gonna be adding in the next two UCCW widgets that you saw in that folder. Remember, it doesn't matter what size. You wanna go into your user, and let's go for the today one. That's the one that's the clock at the top. So you're gonna select yes, if you've already imported it. And you're just gonna select the hand again. Hold down and select resize and just make it resizable looking like that. Remember I said don't worry about the, the size right now. I'm going to be getting into the UCCW editing a bit later. Finally, we're just going to add in the applications at the bottom or the notifications rather. Great, and there is our notifications at the bottom. But as you can see, you can't really read anything. But I can tell you right now why. That is because it's got your little Gmail notification there and you want to set that up. So you're going to select Hopefully you've turned off your UCCW lock widgets option as it will now open up your editor. You want to select background now as this will open up your select objects menu and you want to go to Gmail 1 and you want to slide across your controls and finally you want to select account so that you can select which Gmail account you'll be using and then you want to go into label and you can select your inbox if you prefer. So we're just going to go back now and it'll set it up nicely for you. Now, as you can see, this one's a little bit high and so is this one. We want to move them down, but you think, well, that's going to be quite a mission because you're going to have to move them one by one. But have no fear, UCCW has got this really cool new option called, you select the objects and you select common controls. What this will allow you to do is if you select position, so you go for faster movement and bring it down one and then close it, go back. It shifts every single thing down. It looks really cool, really easy to do. I'm going to do the same for time. So we're just going to select the, the top one. Remember, we're going to select background to get into our select object. And we're going to go for common controls once again. Select position once again. Say you've gone for one faster movement and then down, close, go back. See what it looks like, just like that. So if you like them the way that they are positioned, one thing you want to look at is your hotspots over here. As you can see, it's got your Chrome, your Facebook, your camera, your music, as well as AirDroid. So we're going to select those now and you want to make them open up your own apps. So we're going to select background now and hotspots. Now remember, if you're not too sure on hotspots, check out our UCCW tutorials, especially part three, as I cover the hotspots and what they actually do and how to set them correctly. So for here, we're going to be, as you can see, we've got five set up and say I don't want to have hotspot five, which is our music player that's going to open up power amp. I want to open up, say Google play the music. I'm going to select hotspot app, and I want to select play music, simple as that. Obviously, if you want to rename each one of these, unfortunately, this is a pre-made image, so you cannot rename any one of these, 
but it's very easy as it's just a simple text with dots and then a little icon if you wanted to add in your own or create your own new UCCW skin. So once you've got all the hotspots aligned to the way you want them, you just want to go into your options here, lock widgets and turn it on. This will disable opening up that UCCW editor again. So say if you touch your Chrome browser, it's going to open up Chrome very easy like that. So that is our UCCW skin setup. We're going to finally be moving on to our simple RSS reader that we're going to input over here. So to add in this simple RSS reader, we're going to hold down the home screen, select our widgets, and you want to download the amazing free app called Simple RSS R Widget over here. So we're going to select the Simple RSS widget and the first thing we want to do is manage RSS feeds where you'll be able to add in your own RSS feed. It's very easy to do. You just select add RSS feed and we've really got a pre-made one for my color screen. Say so if you want to add in the screen of the day just like that and to remove one you just select the X and it will delete them for you just like that. So once you've got the feeds the way you want them you'll go back and it'll just create them for you like this but you want to just get back into your menu so you just select a little wrench and you'll get back into your editing screen here. This is where you can change whatever you want such as your background, your colors for all of your text. So the only thing I want to change is these white text for the new sources. So, so you just want to change the value which is change the brightness and darkness and get it not fully dark but quite dark and select OK like that. You're going to do the same for news text, get it a little bit lower, select OK. Then finally your background, you're just going to select this little icon here and you're going to make it fully transparent, getting your alpha on right at the fully left hand side. You're going to select OK. What I recommend doing is showing your icons but then making your transparency zero. Why you're going to do that is that once it's in, in place, then as you can see, you if you say if you want to update your feed, you can still tap the little top there to update it and to edit it, you just tap the corner here and it'll bring up your editing options. Quite simple like that. And as always, to hold it down, select resize to get it in that perfect position like that. Looks really, really cool. So that is your simple setup right there. It looks really cool. If you have any questions about how to set up this theme, please leave your comments in the comment section below. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. As yeah, there's going to be so many more tutorials coming in the following weeks. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.